Can I invite uh, our next speaker up, Jamie? Um, Jamie is uh, the Business Development Director at Prentify. Um, how, how many of you in this room hire SDRs? How many of you? Okay. Um, so right now, our dedicated and recommended SDR recruitment partner is the wonderful Venetrix, and you need to know who they are. Um, and right now, we just hired our two most recent SDRs from Venetrix. However, there is also another option um, whereby we're thinking about the future of apprenticeships. And I'm not sure how many of you are aware of this, but sales apprenticeships have become a new uh, de rigueur in the standard of supporting young people people get into tech sales and this is an actually a new channel to support young people that maybe have not discovered sales before um, they're learning about it for the first time and there's an opportunity to go through a training program and work with a provider like Apprentify on upskilling them so I just wanted to invite Jamie up for a couple of minutes just to share um, who Apprentify are and and who you support Jamie and we can just share a bit more about a program we've launched tonight for the very first time specifically for SDRs Cool. I'll just check this is working. Yeah, I don't have a Cobra, so Antoine, that's a quite hard act to follow. Yeah, good work. Um, James, thank you. Uh, just to kind of set the scene, I wanted to put three people out there that I don't know if everyone knows all three of these people, but does anyone have any idea what these three people have in common? Indra Nuri at the top, by the way, CEO of Pepsi, and then you've got Kobe and, uh, and Arnie, who's a personal favourite of mine. Any ideas? <laughs> Do they? They really? all live in that's, California. If they all live in Cali, then that's, that, that's amazing. I didn't know that. But to put you out of the misery, they're all massive, massive advocates of training innovation. And that kind of leads into and stems into what we're talking about and trying to work out how this apprenticeship um, space that I work in and my company works in can support your businesses and being innovative versus your competitors. So, yeah, if we go on to the next page. Very quickly, and James said I've got three minutes, so I'm going to be as quick as possible. Some facts there just about the business I work for. If you're thinking there's hundreds of providers, hundreds of training companies that you can work with, it's true. Just to give peace of mind as to who we are, we're Ofsted Outstanding, that's top 1.6%. Top three um, rising stars in the UK's education sector. That was the Times actually, did an article on that over Christmas. That's online. And we were finalists in the AAC's Provider of the Year Award. That's like winning an Oscar in our space. So we're good at what we do. Why train your staff? performance increase. In 2022, the average performance increase in training staff was estimated to be between 10 to 20 percent. Retention, 40 percent. Um, and that's with an average staff cost of £30,000 if you lose a member of your staff in 2022. So with that retention increase, there's obviously indirect revenue benefits there or financial benefits. Also, it's about developing critical skills needed to differentiate yourselves from the competitors because we're in a tough market. You know, it's saturated. I had a few conversations before this and people are saying it's a saturated market. It's hard. How do we differentiate ourselves? Part of that is gaining the knowledge or providing your younger, early careers staff the opportunity to learn things that's going to differentiate themselves and stand out against the other people that are doing the same as you guys. Okay. This is, just to add, this is genuinely something new, unique that we really believe in supporting the next generation of salespeople. You'll hear the mission I talk about a lot, which is helping you at each stage of your career, wherever you're at. But you're not going to get to this stage of your career unless you have a start. And this is why this type of program um, is so specialised and bespoke. It is, and bespoke's the right word, because what we've done and um, where this concept came from is uh, myself and James and, and the CRO at my business, Sam, had a a sit down a few months ago and we said, you know, where, is there a gap in the market? Is there something that we can offer? Because all the apprenticeship programs that are out there are quite specific. So we've taken one and reconfigured it and made it something that's, um, that's unique. It's one of a kind and it addresses areas that we think is most important for people going to their first position in, um, in the IT or SaaS space. And that's covering all areas really. So it could be anything from customer support, sales engineers, technical assistants, your SDRs, and everything in between. It's relevant for all these guys and girls. Um, three key areas that it would cover, fundamentals of IT, things like unified comms, the cloud, etc. just giving them that knowledge so that they're credible when they're having those conversations. We also go through um, customer service essentials, so the A to Z of sales, what the life cycle looks like, open, closed techniques, simple. Um, stuff that you'd expect there to be in any kind of customer service or sales training program. 
and a few additional um, advanced techniques. This was based on some of the, the events that, that James has run in the last year, actually. And um, we got together and said, what are the, the three, not necessarily key, but what three things would be really powerful in the sales space right now and, and is, is relevant within the IT SaaS world? And um, we, we decided the Bant, Medic, and the Jolt Effect were the three that have been featured and talked about most. So we've, we've added modules in. You don't get those modules in this particular program with other providers. We've got skills sessions that our coaches will, will roll them out for um, in, in this program too. So that leads on to the next bit, which is the launch. Because this is a, uh, it's a collab between James and our company. And there's two things that we're going to be doing. In May 2023, um, there's a brochure that you guys have, have got in front of you. I think we put one out every, every three chairs. There's a, a handful printed if anyone else wants to take any home with them. That explains exactly what this program delivers. So what's trained in this particular course that we've put together. And in, um, in May, we're going to do the first class. So for the first 15 people, we've reserved one of, our, one of our trainers for this. And we're going to invite companies to come to us and say, yes, we've got a handful of new people, one, two, three, four, whoever it might be, that fall into some of the positions that I've mentioned earlier and that you'd like to put onto this program. And they'll be part of an open cohort that we'd roll out. It will last about 12 to 13 months. There's about nine months of training on average six hours per week that we factor into their day-to-days. And I can talk you through how that works um, in practice after this, should you want to find out more. Thereafter, Thursday the 18th of May, we're going to do a uh, sales confidence and apprentify SDR assessment day. This is in person. The most hired position or the most open position that we've seen in the, the past number of months um, within this community are for SDRs. You guys are looking for real hungry, ambitious, junior talent that's going to come through and drive that revenue for your business and drive those opportunities. So we're going to run this day together. A venue still to be, to be confirmed, a couple of options there. We've put aside this date and we're going to invite a handful of, um, of clients within the sales confidence community to come along to that day, talk about your business, why join, our, why join my business, and then we're gonna do a load of role plays, tests, and exercises after they've already gone through a two-stage interview process to be invited to that day with the plan for you guys to make offers and to hire a load of high-quality new SDRs through, uh, through this event. And they'll then go on to the IT SaaS Accelerator program in that second class that will be rolled out in June. So that's what we're launching. It is unique, it's innovative, it's taken us a number of months really to pull this together and to design something for this particular specific IT and SaaS space. So I hope it's something you guys are interested in finding out more about. Please reach out to me if you'd like to find out more, or James, awesome. and we'll take it from there. Thank Thanks you. very much, Jamie.